Greetings to all, I am Anusha Kannapan from the VGAPI Developer Support Team. Today in this video we are going to have a look at the anatomy of the TCL IVR script and also do a walkthrough of a sample TCL IVR script. Let's begin with the anatomy of a TCL IVR script. The three major chunks of the script are the initialization procedure, the action procedure and the finite state machines. Whenever an execution instance is being created, for example when a call setup or handoff is being executed, the main body of the script invokes the initialization procedure, which acts as a one-time set of function. Here we can perform the global variable initialization and the parameter configuration reading. Coming to the next procedures, the action procedures, these are being called from the final state machine where we can specify what actions to be taken based on the event received and optionally to which state it has to be transitioned. The major TCL actions on call legs include call progress indications, monitor and manipulation of digits or call information, call transfer and disconnect. Last but not the least comes the final state machines which defines the flow control of a call by specifying the action function to execute in response to a given event under the current state and the next state it has to be moved to. Also we can make use of the wildcard states and events such as any state, same state. The FSM defined top FSM call init command is used to initialize and set up the state machines. Assuming the sample script has been loaded successfully into the voice gateway, let's see what exactly a sample script is going to perform. Initially, as soon as a caller picks up the phone, the caller will hear the prompt saying enter the destination you wish to reach. To this prompt, the caller has to respond by entering the digits. The digits are being collected and if the destination is available, the call is connected to the destination, else the call is closed. We have six procedures in our sample app. Let's follow the FSM and see which procedure will be called accordingly. The init specified in the main body of the script in initializes the procedure init which is used for global parameter configuration. As the initial state is set to the call init, now the script looks for the state machine with the current status call init. And it waits for the EV setup indication event, which indicates that the system received a call. This is one of the event that indicates an execution instance of the script. And on receiving the event, the act underscore setup procedure is being executed and also sets the media play as the next state that it has to be moved. So coming to our procedure act setup, initially we are going to send the setup acknowledgement and call proceeding and connect message to the incoming leg. Later the media file containing the audio saying please enter the destination you wish to reach will be played to the caller. Later, as soon as the media is uh, ended successfully or uh, if even in case there is a failure, we'll be getting the ev underscore media underscore done, which indicates that the prompt playout either completed or failed. We can make use of the evt status info tag to determine the completion status and on receiving the event, the act underscore get procedure is being executed. In our act underscore get test, we are making use of the global parameter para and trying to collect the digits from the caller. On completion, we will be getting the EB collect digits done. So based on the event received, now the procedure that is invoked is act underscore got test. In our uh, procedure act underscore got test, uh, we are making use of the evt status info tag to determine the status of the command completion and the call is made to the destination using the leg setup. So on completion of the leg setup, we will be getting the event uh, ev setup done, which indicates that the setup command has finished. You can then make use of the evt status info tag to determine the status of the command completion and uh, we can make use of this evt status info tag to determine the status and uh, based on the status we can print the messages in our act underscore call setup procedure. So 
one, uh, if it is going to be a success we are going to get ls underscore zero 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 so we are going to print that you have a successfully placed the call to the destination else we can print the message saying it was not connected and close the call the call close command marks the end of the call and frees the execution instance of the script to handle the next call this command causes the system to clean up the resources associated with the call so base and later on when we get the ev underscore disconnected or ev disconnect done the act underscore cleanup procedure is called where we are going to print the status of the call also the call close command is being executed over there so with this we come to the end of the call uh, flow uh, through of the script if you have more queries you can log in to developer.cisco.com slash web slash vgapi slash forum where you can post your queries if it is related to tcl IBI, you can post over here and if it is related to vxml you can click on this one and post your queries over there thanks for watching this video hope this is useful for your scripting thanks